So you're coming to Europe, these are the things that you must do before you take your trip abroad. Before we get into it, hit that big subscribe button, it's usually red somewhere down there, so that you can subscribe to my channel and you never miss any of my weekly London advice and travel tip videos. First, you need to get local currency. I don't recommend going to any foreign country without having at least a little bit of the country's currency in your pocket when you get off the plane. Cause you never know when you're gonna need it for a taxi ride, to tip someone, or to use the toilet. The amount you should bring with you depends on a lot of things, but I have a video about how to buy and spend money in London that actually applies to most of Europe, so you can watch that next by clicking up here. Make sure you tell your bank that you're going to be traveling abroad. If you don't and you try to use your card in a foreign country, it's going to reject the card and also cancel it, meaning you won't be able to use it at all and they'll have to send you a new one. Also, while you're on the phone with them, ask them if they have any partner banks in the country that you're going to. So if you have a debit card, sometimes banks will have deals with international banks that you can use their ATM and you actually won't have a withdrawal fee. For example, I used to have a Bank of America card and when I was in Italy, there was a bunch of banks that I could get free international withdrawals from. Also double check to see what kind of fees you're going to incur if you use your debit or credit card internationally. Make sure you get a couple of power adapters. Obviously, if you're bringing any electronics with you, you're gonna need to probably charge them or plug them in at some point. And if you don't live in Europe or the UK, your plug isn't gonna fit here. Different countries in Europe have different plugs, so make sure that you find the plug for each of the countries that you're going to be going to. For example, if you go to the UK and then to Italy, you're gonna have two different adapters you're gonna need. I'll leave a link down in the description box to the adapters that I recommend, and they have options for pretty much any country that you're gonna be going to around the world. So just make sure you order a couple of the ones you're gonna need. Get an international phone plan. If you want to use your phone abroad, you're gonna to have to call up your mobile company and let them know that you wanna do this. Switching to an international plan for however long you're gonna be away can be really expensive depending on your provider and what kind of phone you have. So that might not actually be the best option for you. I have a video that explains how to be able to use your phone while you're in Europe. So watch that video next by clicking the card that's popping up here. Check your luggage situation. Nobody ever thinks about this. The last thing that you want to happen when you're packing for your trip the night before that you leave is to throw everything into your luggage and go to zip it up and realize that the zipper is completely broken. If it's nine o'clock at night and your flight leaves at 6 a.m. the next day, you're kind of screwed. So a few days before you're gonna start packing, make sure you give your all of your luggage a once over to check that all the zippers are working and that everything is gonna stay intact. Check your travel size toiletry situation. So I always forget to check out what kind of toiletries I need to refill before I go on a trip and I end up having to buy really expensive ones in the airport on the way to wherever I'm going. So a few days in advance, make sure you look to see if you need to refill your travel size toothpaste, your bar soap, anything like that. Also, I have these refillable travel size liquid containers that are really, really good. If you've seen any of my other packing videos, you've heard me talk about them. I have a bunch of those and they make my life easier because instead of having to buy new travel size bottles of shampoo, conditioner, things like that, I just refill them every time I go on holiday. So I'll leave a link to those down in the description so you can pick them up. See if you can book your airport transfers ahead of time. If you can get your travel from the airport to your hotel sorted before you arrive, that just means it's one less thing you have to worry about when you get off the plane and you're tired and grumpy. So first check to see if your hotel offers an airport shuttle service. If not, there are some shuttle services that you might be able to book, like EasyJets. Also, you can check sites like Rome to Rio and Google Maps to see what the best ways to get from the airport to your hotel is, because you might be able to buy um, some bus or train tickets in advance as well. Also, when you have a look at those options, make sure you screenshot that so you can hold on to it just in case your first option of how you're gonna get to your hotel falls through, then you know other ways you can get there. Confirm your hotel or your Airbnb reservation. You wanna obviously make sure that your accommodation is all sorted for you before you arrive and try to check in and realize that actually the hotel canceled your reservation two weeks ago, but you didn't get the email. So if you haven't had a series of emails from the hotel that you're staying at saying stuff about your arrival, then get in contact with the hotel and just double check that they have your confirmation they're waiting for you. With your Airbnb, it's the same thing. Go and log into your Airbnb account, check that it still says confirmed next to your reservation, and also make sure you message your host to see if there's any special instructions that you need 
to get the key to get into your place. Print out all documentation. So things like your hotel confirmations, your Airbnb confirmations, addresses of the places you're going, plane tickets for your entire trip in Europe, all that stuff should be printed out and put into a waterproof envelope. Depending on where you're going, you might need to present all that at border control once you get off the plane. But also it's good to have all of it in paper just in case you, your phone dies or it gets lost. You have everything with you. Check in for your flight. A lot of international flights, you can actually check in online 24 hours in advance. I always try to do that because then it means you might be able to snag some really good seats. Make sure you make copies of your credit and debit cards and also your passport. The reason for this is that you want to have all of this stuff documented and you want pictures of it just in case anything gets lost or stolen. Don't rely on just taking a photo on your phone because if that gets stolen as well, then you're screwed. So usually what I'd say is take photos on your phone of both your front and the back of your cards, but then also make paper photocopies and put a couple of different copies in different parts of your bags, like your carry-on bag and your checked bag. Prep your house. If you're gonna be away for a few days, you wanna make sure that you have someone who's gonna pick up the mail for you so it doesn't look like you're not home. And also maybe invest in a timer so that you can have a light go on and off in the evening so it looks like someone is actually in the house. I'll leave a link to something like that down in the description so you can have a look. And finally, make sure you research the best place to have a glass of Prosecco in the airport before you get on the plane because you're going on holiday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next week's video.